Chigiri Hyoma is one of those characters that nobody hates. He is simply cool and well written. In today's video, we are going to be discussing his abilities as well as his character. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to leave a like and subscribe to support the channel. But that is only if you enjoy. You can also let me know what you think about Chigiri Hyoma as a character. And now, without wasting any more of your time, let's get into it. First, we need to talk about Chigiri's abilities. This is not very complicated as he only has one ability that he manages to use at his full potential. Chigiri is the fastest U20 player, at least the fastest that we know. The crazy part about this is that he has a crazy good control of the ball and a crazy dribbling ability while conserving that speed. He also has his 44 Panther Snipe. Basically how this works is that he has a golden zone on the field and he can guarantee a goal almost every time he shoots from that zone and his super speed and dribbling ability is the perfect way to get to that zone making him one of the only players in blue lock that can score a goal on his own he is also a pretty decent defender that can be placed almost anywhere on the field because his speed is good enough to go up and down the field whenever he needs to making him a great asset offensively and defensively his only drawback being his stamina issues and that is about it for his abilities i mean there's not much to be said really he is one of those players that specialize in one ability in particular and can make the most out of that ability. Just like Nagi and his traps. In Chigiri's case, it is his speed. But now we need to start talking about his character. First thing first, Chigiri got one of the best designs in Blue Lock. Even though his design is very simple and it looks like a beautiful woman, it just perfectly fits the character. And this is going to be the main thing about Chigiri's character, his simplicity. Just like everybody else in Blue Lock, Chigiri also wants to become the best striker in the world. But ever since he found his ego in the first selection, nothing much changed about him. He is still the chill person he used to be and he still wants to conquer things with his speed. Chigiri is one of those characters that do not really need a character development. I'm not saying that he didn't have any development, but what I'm saying is that his character was already perfect and he's simply growing from that same route. There was nothing that needed to happen to him to change his character just like Ryo, Isagi or Kunigami. Those characters went through a lot throughout the series. Chigiri simply kept playing football and kept growing, he didn't go through much trouble. Every time we meet Chigiri again, he either got faster or found something new to complement his speed. The real shift in his character was before Blue Lock, because Chigiri has one of the best backstories in all of Blue Lock. What really makes his character interesting is the reality of injury in sport. It is very frequent that a character or a person gets injured and whenever he comes back to the sport, he cannot like use his full potential anymore. It could be by fear of injuring again or simply because his body got too weak to support his full ability. In Chigiri's case, it is the fair part. Getting injured the first time and then learning that if he gets injured the second time, he probably wouldn't be able to sprint ever again. Chigiri unconsciously locked himself up, not allowing himself to sprint again by fear of getting injured. But even though football was making him sad, he still had a lot of love for it, which is the main reason why he joined Blue Lock. He couldn't just abandon the sport that he loved. So Blue Lock was basically the last hope, the last chance the point for him to decide if he stays in football or if he simply gotta stop. He came here completely ready to give up. He didn't wanna share his ability with anybody and didn't really wanna talk much with anybody. He'll even play as a defender where he didn't have much to do. But after encountering Isagi, after having a discussion with Isagi, after seeing him play and after seeing how big his ambition was, Chigiri realized that he simply couldn't give up and decided he was going to sprint until those legs of him gave out. After that, he became the character that we know, literally sprinting his way out of every situation on the field. And this is what we love about Chigiri's character. It shows that you don't always need a character to go through hell. You don't really need a character to have a borrow arc, for example. Chigiri is one of the characters that everybody loves for his backstory, but not really because the character changed throughout the series. Ever since the beginning, he didn't do nothing but sprinting. He didn't need any personality change or any real playstyle change. He's simply going through what is the perfect route for him and keeps getting better and better at what he does already. Next, we need to talk about Chigiri's stats. Uh, he has one of the most insane stats that we've seen yet. With a speed stat of 98, a dribble stat of 93, and the offense stat of 95. These being his S-class stats. Crazy enough because he's the only character with three S-class stats that came from Blue Lock. Even Kunigami, Nagi and Baru that have a higher overall only possess two S-class stats. He also has a shoot stat of 88, which is almost a 90, meaning almost S-class. 
And I wouldn't be surprised if by the end of the near Egoist League he reaches a S-class stat on the shooting too. And he has a passing stat of 80. And these are his two A-class stats. A-class is far from being bad but it is not necessarily the highest we can have. Unlike a lot of other players, he doesn't have a B-class stat. Because his defense stat is a C, being a 68. But this is not an issue because Shigeru was never made for defense. His speed is a good enough ability to allow him to help the defense whenever he needs to. But that doesn't make him a full-time defender. That doesn't mean he's somebody that needs a high defense stat. And the same goes for his pass stats. I know AD isn't low, but what I'm trying to say is that Chigiri most of the time is not going to pass the ball because he can do it all by himself. But that is about it for Chigiri's stats. It was pretty simple to cover. But now we need to talk about how good Chigiri actually is. I know I already said quite a bit, but I wanna expand on it. First, we need to talk about Chigiri's insane scoring ability that I would say is comparable to Bachira. The only reason why most people say that Bachira is better than Chigiri is because he has more feet. But if we try to compare them, they will probably be on a similar level. Chigiri has an insane but very simple goal formula. All he has to do is get to a specific zone and shoot the ball from that zone and he can almost never miss. And what makes getting to that zone even easier is his crazy speed. Meaning that he can pretty much guarantee goal. And if instead of Nagi, Manshine playstyle was focused around Chigiri, he could have been an even more dangerous demon. And the next thing I want to talk about is Chigiri's surprise effect. Almost everyone after playing against Chigiri for the first time gets completely destroyed. Even what I said in the last video talking about Aiku, when I was talking about how much work Aiku was putting against Block 11, especially early game, nobody could get past them. And Chigiri managed to simply from that surprise effect. And the same happened in the second selection against Rin's team or even in the 3v3 against Isagi's team. The thing is, the first time you see Chigiri, either you don't know he's fast or you don't remember how fast he is. Because even when you realize that he's fast, he will still get past you the first time. There's a reason why Chigiri is always the first to score in most games, whether it be the 3v3, the 4v4 or even the match against Manchine. And the reason why he only scored once during the Manchine game is because first, the formation is not based around him. Meaning he's not always going to get the ball at the perfect position. But whenever he was about to score, I think this happened 2 or 3 times after the first goal, there was always somebody here to stop him. Whether it was Corona preventing him from shooting the ball, or even Kaiser after Chigiri beat Yukimiya in the matchup and was about to score. And that is another way to show how good Chigiri really is. Because whenever he scores that first goal I'm talking about, the whole team understands how dangerous he is. And they refuse to let him brave for the rest of the game not letting him the chance to score anymore. Which is the main reason why I think Chigiri is better than Nagi. Because even though the system is being based around Nagi, he is wasting too many chances. Any other pure striker, whether it's Kaiser, Baro or Kunigami, whenever they receive the ball in the right position, you can be sure they will score. But when it comes to Nagi, it is never the same. But I understand that is because he is mid-evolution. At the moment, Manshine's system is being based around Nagi for different reasons than the others. It is based around Nagi for potential only, and only because they find this character and his playstyle amusing and they want to exploit it and get it to the next level. It is not because they trust him to guarantee goals for their team. And as Ryo said, it is possible that they even lose for that reason. So to summarize my point, Chigiri is a better player than Nagi because he's a way more consistent player. And because Nagi has help from his old team, what Chigiri doesn't. But that could just be my opinion. Let me know what you think in the comments. I hope you all enjoyed this video. And if you do, don't forget to leave a like and subscribe. But only if you enjoy. And I will see you all next time. Peace.